So I work at Exeter, at the University of Exeter, and the reason we've organised this creative workshop today is because we've just commissioned and got approval for a mural that is going to be a legacy climate mural for Exeter. So this uh, mural has been commissioned by the University of Exeter Green Future, and um, it has the winning artist who got the winning and best design is, shall we say, Garth? Garth, 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 Garth. And it was actually coordinated by Art, Exeter Art? Artwork. 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 Stuart, hopefully he will come and join us later. And um, the mural will be launched in the spring, and hopefully we'll be able to show you the wall later. The idea from today's workshop is to give fire to our imagination. So I am part of a project um, at the University of Exeter and the aim of this project is to try and connect the arts with science. Because science can solve a lot of our problems such as climate change. But when we add imagination to the mix, miracles and magic can happen. So I'm going to start by introducing our project and what we have done and where we started back from COP26. And this is my colleague Cecilia Maniosa, who is the director of the project and she's going to give us a very brief background on the project. Thank you, Fatma. And it's so glad you could join us today in this rather dark day. Mm -hmm. And what a great place to be here, because this is sort of our story. So we had to be here at the library, because the library is sort of our stories. And this is about a new story. And why stories? Because through stories, we can understand the issues, we can understand um, complex situations, but we can also find a new way forward. So stories show us. Um, they don't tell us what to do. It's up to us to find a way. So our story started back in 2021 when we took poetry to COP26. And we took poems co-created by climate scientists and health professionals to the first ever science pavilion at COP. And COP is a big conference where lots of people come to do something for climate. And as you can see, they haven't been doing very well because we've had a COP27, now we have a COP28. So there's an awful lot of work that we need to do in order to sort out all these problems. Um, and so these poems were then the inspiration to turn them into songs, into a poetry trail, into recordings, and to engage everyone in Exeter and around the world to talk about how can we create a cleaner, a healthier, a more just world. So the fact that we have such young audience today is so important because it's about all of you and all the children that haven't been born and all the other children that haven't been born. So it's not just about us, it's about the future and how we can leave everyone a better future together. And that's, those poems and that engagement really caught people's imagination. And that inspired us to then co-create stories with Egypt, because the following COP in 2022 took place in Egypt. So we brought together climate scientists, health professionals, educators, storytellers, writers, and youth leaders to co-create new climate stories. And these new climate stories were then woven into 12 poems by Sa sorry, into 12 stories by Sally who did a lot of magic, bringing all these words, all this body of writing, and she's going to tell you about it, how she did it. And these stories sparked a mural legacy in Alexandria. So if you ever go to Alexandria in Egypt, and you go to the Jesuit Cultural Center, you are going to see this beautiful mural co-created by an Egyptian artist. Come on in. And today, the mural inspired, these stories inspired a mural for Exeter. And we are delighted that after a call out, where we invited local artists to submit ideas uh, for a mural, then the public voted in Exeter, and the most voted mural is God's. Woo! <laughs> 